Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a split histogram for repeated measures using SPSS. I'll be using SPSS 26, but I'm pretty sure this will also work with older versions. Um, here's, oh, sorry about that. Here's an example of what that might actually look like, something like this. Um, and that's what we're going to build. Now, very important for this is that we first create a copy of our data. So I'm going to say file and then save as and then actually rename this to long so we actually have a longer version uh, already exists I'm going to overwrite it so make sure you have a new file um, which is a duplicate of your original because we're going to restructure this entire data file so the variables that I'm interested in are these four and they were uh, grades given on a scale of 1 to 10 now what we're going to do is we're going to go for data and then select restructure uh, keep the first option, then a 1, then uh, we can actually change, uh, oh sorry, let's first select them, shift and move them all variables to be transposed, and let's call this uh, genre, then we can go to next, uh, 1 is ok, next, uh, we do want to keep the variable names so that we know which one is which, and actually then we leave everything as is, and we go to finish. Yep. Now we have a new file where for each respondent, so respondent 1, we have his or her separate scores on the different uh, genres. And you can see this was respondent 2 and uh, for each genre uh, this person scored like this. Now we can create that split histogram using uh, graphs and then uh, we could either do legacy dialogues and then select a histogram simply select the genre which are the scores actually and the index then in the rows and if you click on OK you should get nicely uh, this one you could also do it with the uh, the graphs and then chart builder OK you simply go for histogram in the gallery go for histogram select the simple one and drag it into the preview select genre for your x-axis and then go for group points and then uh, row panel variable and then select the index and put that under panel Now click on OK and you get the same diagram for each of these you can actually double click on the diagram and then you can change some things if you want to uh, so click again on one of the bars and you can change the color so now they're all black or you can choose uh, any color you like so there are a few different options. You can then close the chart editor and the results will show back in the output. Now in this case we can see that there's a lot of variation here. There's a lot less variation here. So this one probably scores on average the highest. So you get a good indication of your data. Now this is a video intended not if you should use this or why you should use this. It's only about how you can create it. On my website I try to explain a bit more on this. Alright, that was it.